Hi, this is Don. I'm going to show you how to do a two sample hypothesis test for the difference in proportions. Uh, this is problem 8.4.14 in your homework and it has to do with a state-by-state -state survey on people who are smokers and it says that they surveyed 3,000 people in each state and found that 18.1% it were smokers in state A and 23.5% were smokers in state B. They want to know can you support the claim that the proportion of adults who are smokers is greater in state A than in state B. First part of the question is, is pretty straightforward then because it tells us that the claim is proportion of smokers in state A is greater than in state B. So that answers that first part. Since the claim contains a greater than symbol, that means it's the greater than math operator. So when we convert this into math statements, if we look for a pair that has a greater than operator on the alternative, it's this one. And we know that the null is always an, an equality. And so that makes the null less than or equal to. So this is our hypothesis for the test that we're running. First thing we got to do is find the critical value. You can find it a number of ways. Let's do it real quick here using StatCrunch. Okay, here's StatCrunch. And what we want to do is see the alpha is 0.05. We've got a right tail test. So let's go into Stat Calculators, Normal. Bring up our calculator. We want a right tail test. I'm going to select that first to get my red area on the right side. And our alpha again is 0.05. That's all in that tail. So it says the critical value is positive 1.6448. That rounds 1.645 or 1.64 if you uh, they want it just two decimal places. Okay, the next part wants us to identify the rejection region, and that is any Z that is greater than 1.64, positive 1.64 bring this over here again. Here's our sketch. Any Z beyond 1.64 would be a test statistic that would cause us to reject the null. Okay, you can do this a number of ways. To do it totally in StatCrunch, I'm going to put in here P hat for our proportions in the two states, and I'm going to put N, which would be the number of of folks sample. P hat in the first one is 18.1% and state B is 23.5%. The N is 3,000 in both of them. And you can take your calculator and multiply those out. I'll do that using StatCrunch's little built-in calculator. We're going to build an expression and it's just going to be P hat times N divided by 100, click OK. I'm going to call that successes, click Compute. And so we've got our number of successes in each state that we need to do the next part of the uh, test. So here we go to Stat. We want proportion stats to sample with summary. And we bring up this dialog box and the first sample it's 543 out of 3,000, and then 705 out of 3,000. Our test is the difference is zero, and we want a right tail test so that we say the difference is greater than zero for the alternative. Remember, in many of the statistical calculators and uh, programs you run. Uh, we just test for the equality, the pure equality. If we reject the null for the equality, then we would also reject the null for anything on the less than side of, of the equality too. So I'm going to click on compute and we get our answers here. We get our test statistic minus 5.1 Five, and we got a p-value of 1. You never get a, exactly 1, so that's that's very, very close to 1. It rounded it to 1. Minus 5.15 is the answer 
that they've got there. Well, we know since the p-value is greater than alpha, we should reject. But we also would know that our test statistic minus 5.15 is way over here somewhere, definitely not in a rejection zone. So we would fail to reject. That's the answer there. And we interpret it that at the 5% significance level, there's insufficient evidence to support the claim. We did not reject the null. The, the claim is the alternative. Therefore, there's not enough evidence to support the claim. So that's how you do it in StatCrunch. Hope this helps. Mm -hmm.